जय गुरुदेव देर इज ए श्लोका इन संस्कृत नो विच डिस्क्राइब्स द फाइव इंपॉर्टेंट क्वालिटीज ऑफ द स्टूडेंट द श्लोका गोज लाइक दिस काक चेष्टा भको ध्यान श्वान निद्र तथा च अल्पाहारी गृह त्यागी विद्यार्थी पंचलक्षण so how should a uh, student be the first the student should students effort should be like a crow now we all know the story of a crow you know it uh, it uh, sits on the rim of a pitcher and it finds the water very deep inside the pitcher and what does the crow do with persistence with perseverance it keeps adding the pebbles onto the uh, into the pitcher and then the water level comes up so that's how the uh, student should be the student should have persistence patience and constant effort in achieving the goal that is kaka chesta bhako dhyana bhaka means crane you know when the crane when the when the crane wants to hunt uh, wants to hunt uh, hunt a fish in the lake or a pond you know how the crane stands the crane stands very still it is very focused it stands on one leg and it keeps watching a, a particular fish which 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 is its prey you know and it leaves all the other fish apart one fish it keeps it keeps very focus it keeps its focus on it so having one point to focus you know we say ekatatva abhyasa having one point to focus and letting go of all the other smaller things it actually looks for a bigger fish so that is bhako dhyana so your focus your dhyana should be uh, should be like that of a crow and shwana nidra shwana means dog the sleep you know how the dog sleeps the dog sleeps like it is no one's business but at the same time if a thief enters the house it is very alert, it is very alert it protects its owner so that's how the student should be the student should be very restful very very much at peace at ease but at the same time he should be very 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 alert that is shwana nidra just like how the crow or just like how the dog protects its owner the vidyarthi or the student should protect his studies and then alpahari you know um, ahara means food but generally it means what the uh, information we get out of the five senses through the eyes or the through ear so a vidyarthi or a student should take just minimal information from all uh, from all the senses over doing any of the senses the energy goes in that you know if it eats more most of the energy is spent in digestion most of the energy is spent in stomach and he cannot think clearly so the, the vidyarthi should be alpahari and gruhatyagi you know in, in olden days a vidyarthi or a student had to go out of uh, his house to a gurukul to learn under a master so in today's modern world we we could say that he should get out of his comfort zone home is where is our comfort is you know uh, the gruhatyagi means and he should not be too much bothered about the homely affairs the worldly affairs he should be very much concentrated on his studies so these are the five qualities of a vidyarthi vidya means knowledge artha means one who desires for knowledge so these are the five important qualities of a good student that will really help him in in the path of the knowledge and help him to be successful jai guru